I'm Jason Franey from Canless Restaurant in Seattle. Today we're going to do some Northwest halibut and spring vegetables. So we have some artichoke barrigol, fava beans that we're going to blanch, spring peas, fresh porcini mushrooms, spring asparagus, spring morels, thyme and garlic of course. So you're going to take a pan of water and another pan of water and just go back and forth until there's no sand. Then we're going to dry them really well, clean the stems off. For the porcini mushroom, we're basically going to cut it in half and we're going to shave the sides. And then what we're going to do is we're going to score it. So we're just going to do a cross hatch like this. We're going to take the favas and we're just going to add them into the boiling water. We're going to cook for about two to three minutes, but always check. They're done. We're going to take them out and we're going to shock them in an ice bath. Let those cool down for two or three minutes. So while we're doing that, we're going to start our peas. They're going to probably take about one to two minutes. So we're going to take the peas out now. I'm going to put it right here in the ice bath. While we're doing that, we're going to fire our asparagus. So our asparagus has been in for about four minutes. Awesome. They're done. You don't want to overcook these because we're going to cook them again in the pot with the fish. Now that the, the green vegetables have chilled, we're going to take them out and we're just going to place them on a napkin. So once the oil smokes, we're going to add them scored side down and get a nice sear on them. We're going to add salt and that's what you want. You want the gorgeous golden brown color. And then we're going to add a little bit of butter to make brown butter. We're going to baste a little bit. A little bit of thyme and garlic that we're just going to smash. So you just want to wait till your butter gets a little bit brown. Take it off the heat and then baste. The mushrooms are finished. We're just going to take them and drain the fat on a napkin. We still have that beautiful brown butter and the thyme and the garlic. So we're just going to drain a little bit of the fat out, save a little bit. That's really good flavor. Put it back on the heat and we're going to cook the morels in the same pan. Not too long, about 30 seconds. They're already done. Then we're going to go right onto a drain pan. We're going to bring the chicken stock to a boil. We're going to add a little bit of salt, thyme, a couple sprigs, smash the garlic. So now you see we got this to a boil. We're going to slowly add our cornstarch. After we got the sauce to the right consistency, we're going to strain it through a chinois or a fine mesh strainer. So now we want to cool the sauce down. You always want to use metal because metal conducts and plastic insulates. So to cool things down or heat things up, you want to use metal. We're only going to season with salt. We're just going to go here. We're going to go high like rain so it evenly coats each medallion. And then we're going to flip each one over, evenly coated. And then you're going to let that sit for about three minutes just so the salt penetrates. You don't want the fish to, to touch because you want them to cook evenly. We're going to start off with our fava beans. We go with our peas, go with our artichoke barrigold. You can really do this with any vegetables. We're just doing the bounty of what we have here in the Northwest. Morels, porcinis now. Now if you want to go more porcinis and no artichokes or no morels and more porcinis or vice versa, you can do that also. One last garlic clove that we're going to smash. And then we're just going to hit it with a little bit more thyme. Now for our sauce and make sure it's a good amount. You want it to fill all around the fish so that it actually cooks in the sauce and there's no dry spots. We don't want the, the sauce on top of the fish because uh, we want it to cook around it. So we're just going to finish it with a little bit of olive oil and we're going to glaze the top. And now we're ready to cook. All we need to do is put the top on it. We're going to cook it at 300 degrees for about 12 minutes. Depending on the oven, you want to just check if it's cooked through. Looks good, smells good, no resistance, it's ready to go. We're going to finish it with a little bit of fleur de sel and a little bit of crushed pepper. And now we're ready to eat. 